This is the schematic of the circuit. We are going to convert this circuit to its equivalent servlet circuit. This circuit was built based on the given schematic. As you can see here, has a red wire. This red wire connects to the DC power supply's output voltage. For this experiment, it is 12 volt. Over here is a black wire which connects to the ground voltage. The circuit has 1, 2, 3, and 4 resistors. This resistor is R1. It's brown red red, 1.2 kilo ohm resistor. This is resistor R2. It's yellow violet black, a 47 ohm resistor. This resistor is R3, and it is Gray, red, brown, 820 ohm resistor. This resistor is called RL, which is the load. It's brown, blue, red, 1.6 kilo ohm resistor. The junction point between these two resistors connect to a green wire. This green wire is point C in the schematic. And over here, the left side of the resistor R1 connects to the positive 12 volt. If you look at these two resistors, each one connects to ground. This is the circuit built based on the given schematic. Now we are going to learn how to convert this circuit to its equivalent servlet circuit using only a multimeter, or maybe also a jumper without any calculation. To convert this circuit to its equivalent servlet circuit, the first thing is to connect the power supply. This cable connects to the positive terminal of the power supply's output, and it connects to this red wire. It connects to here, the red wire. This cable connects to the ground voltage of the DC power supply, and it connects to here. I have already connected the circuit to the power supply. This connects to the power supply's ground voltage. The power supply provides 12 volt. Now we're going to learn how to find the thermal voltage VTH and the thermal resistance RTH. In order to find the VTH, the first step is to remove the load. The load resistor is here. So I'm going to disconnect this load resistor from the circuit. Going to remove it over here, there. Remove this resistor. Now I'm going to use the multimeter to measure the voltage. Take this multimeter. Connect the red hook here. The hook of the other cable of the multimeter connects to a jumper. Just make it a little bit easier when we connect it to the breadboard. This is how it looks. I'm going to connect it to ground. Here, and I turn on the multimeter. 
make sure to switch to DC voltage mode. The voltage between these two terminals is 0.457 volt. This is the thermonant voltage, VTH. As a recap, to find the VTH, first we remove the load. Use the multimeter to find the voltage between the terminals. Now it's time to find the thermonant resistance, RTH. To find the thermonant resistance, RTH, first we need to remove the voltage source from the circuit. This and the other cables. And now we are going to replace this by a jumper. This step is called the short the source. For my personal preference, I use blue wire to show it connect the circuit internally. I take a blue wire and then connect it there to ground. I short the source. Next, I change the meter's mode to uh, ohm meter, which is for measuring resistance. As you can see, the meter's reading is 0 0.893 kilo ohm. This is the thermal resistance. Now we have both VTH and the RTH. We can simply connect this in series to build the thermal circuit. Since we got a VTH and the RTH from measurement, we can connect them in series to draw the equivalent thermal circuit. And this is how it looks. This is the thermal circuit with no load connected. And here is the thermal circuit with load connected.